Hey there movie lovers, welcome back to RJ's Antics. Today we're going to be doing something that we haven't done before. We are going to be diving into the world of cinema, specifically about the latest release, Sound of Freedom, starring the incredible Jim Caviezel. The Jesus guy from The Passion of the Christ, that guy. <music> privilege of watching this movie last night. So everything is quite fresh in my mind. Don't worry, I'm not going to be giving away any major spoilers. The Sound of Freedom is a gripping thriller based on true events, following the story of a man named Tim Ballard, portrayed by Jim Caviezel. Ballard is a former government agent who embarks on a preless mission to rescue innocent children trapped in the clutches of human trafficking. The film sheds light on the dark realities of this global issue, offering a raw and intense narrative that keeps you on the edge of your seat throughout. The film opens with a captivating scene that sets the tone for the rest of the story. Jim Caviezel's portrayal of Tim Ballard is nothing short of extraordinary. He brings a perfect balance of determination, vulnerability and relentless spirit to his character. Caviezel's commitment to this role is evident and his performance is a standout. One aspect that sets Sound of Freedom apart is its ability to maintain a delicate balance between intensity and hope. The film explores the horrors of human trafficking, shedding light that exists in the darkness of our world. It's a difficult subject matter, but the movie handles it with care, never shying away from the truth while also reminding us of the resilience and determination of those fighting against it. The pacing of this film is well executed, keeping you engaged from start to finish. The narrative takes us through various situations and locations, unveiling the intricate network involved in human trafficking. The audience is taken through a journey alongside Tim Ballard, experiencing the dangers, risks and emotional toll it takes on him. Sound of Freedom is a powerful film that sheds light on this disturbing reality. Jim Caviezel's outstanding performance, combined with the gripping narrative and strong supporting cast, make it a must-watch. It's a harrowing reminder that there is much work to be done in the fight against human trafficking. So my thoughts of Sounds of Freedom while watching the movie. There are no explicit scenes where there's any visualization of the children being abused. For example, it would take you through to a scene where there's a kid in the room and an adult would walk in and with the music changing, you would know that something is about to happen. And then the scene ends with either the curtains being closed on the window or the door being closed. That's it. There are no explicit sensitive scenes that show the actual child abuse, which was sort of a relief um, to have none of those graphic scenes. I know Jim Caviezel from Jesus, The Passion of Christ, so it was a bit awkward for me to see him neat looking, like no long hair, no blood, no broken skin. Um, no speaking in Aramaic and the language of Jesus. It was weird in that sense. But his eyes, his eyes tell you that this guy is the same guy. This guy puts God first. You, you can just tell. And I've done a lot of research on the documentaries of this movie. The interviews that these guys have had with other uh, production houses, with other media houses, with um, ministers and, and, and it has blown my mind away. So just apart from watching the movie, I've dug deeper into the backstory of this whole movie. It's just a remarkable story. It is so evident that government have told these people straight out that this is not a priority and that they do not have the funds to support this cause. And what makes it more 
frustrating is that people like Disney have fought against having this movie released. This movie was supposed to have been released four years ago. Disney refused to release this under any of their brands because, well, it's obvious. They too are involved in this. Government, minister, presidents, they are such high profile people involved in this syndicate. It's quite heartbreaking to see that um, kids, children, the next generation does not even matter. But I also want to bring something out to our viewers and anyone who would go and watch this movie. I highly recommend that you do. It's one thing to say that I cannot handle these kind of movies. I'm too sensitive. Um, how can I help them? Why should I even watch this? This will just disturb my peace of mind, my state of mind. I don't want to have to think of what if something like this happens to my child? Stop thinking like that. Change your frame of mind. There is always something that you can do. Sure, we may not be able to be physically involved in task teams like Tim Barlard's team that go out there and physically find these children, save them, return them to their parents um, over and over. He's been doing this for 12 years. His wife stood by him. She supported him in leaving his government job and doing this as he's calling. Because in one of the interviews, he says that she told him, his real life wife, told him that he shouldn't stand in the way of her salvation. Which brings me to another point. This is a Christian family. She supported her husband to go out there and find those children and not to stand in her way of her salvation, which means that this is what we are put on earth to do. We have got to take care of each other. When God tells you to do something, do not hesitate. This is a quote from the movie. The other quote is that God's children are not for sale. As a believer in Christ, these words hit me straight through the heart. So yeah, even though I might not be physically in the location, geographic location of these people, being able to assist them, or I might not have the funds to support their cause, but I tell you what, prayer is something that can reach beyond any means that I could physically reach. So I have been praying for Tim Ballard and his team since I started watching documentaries and interviews about them and this movie. And my prayers go out to their families who support this man who is doing this for a living and to the victims' families that they get the strength that they need to just hang on a little bit longer because help is coming. Your kids would be returned to you. And to the rest of us, get on your knees. Put these people in your prayer. Send out the angels to protect these people while they're on their missions to retrieve these children and bring them back safely to their families. I highly recommend you watch this movie. Watch it. Today, if you can. I'm Rish. Audrey Santix. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.